Advent of Code 2024, Day 4, Series Search. This is OXDF. Let's take a look at the challenge. Um, basically, I'm going to get a big grid of letters, and as far as I can tell, all of the letters are XMAS uh, for Xmas, Christmas. And it's basically a word search. I need to find all the instances of X, the word XMAS, um, and it can go in any direction. So I can go, uh, you know, from any X, I can go eight different directions, up, down, diagonal, backwards, etc. I can have multiple Xmases starting at the same X. So X, M, A, S, here's X, M, A, S. Um, that's it. I gotta count the, uh, gotta count the Xmases. So let's go ahead and uh, dive in. I will start with Genday script for day four. Um, I'll link to the intro video where I kind of talk about what this does, but it basically it pulls my input and creates me a stub. Um, I'm also gonna grab, so there's not a good way to do this. Uh, Automatically, I will grab this and create myself an ex.txt like that. Looks good. Uh, we'll take a look at the input real quickly. Um, looks roughly the same, uh, 140 lines. I'm not going to count how long a line is, but it looks like all the lines are the same length, so I can kind of make that assumption going in. Um, let's go ahead and write some code. Um, I'm reading in read lines. That's probably fine here. Um, First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself, I'm going to call it a map, um, or I'm going to call it like a char map. Map is a phrase that already exists. And we'll say, I'm going to, this is cool. I'm going to use default dict. Um, from collections import default dict. And what this allows me to do is I'll say default dict of set. And now I can reference any value in char map. And if it's not already set, it'll be set to an empty set. Sorry, it'll, it'll be initialized to an empty set. And if it is already set, then it's going to be have its value. And what that allows me to do is basically say for our uh, row in enumerate lines for C comma val in enumerate row map val dot add r comma C. Um, I could do this the other way. I could I could track the I could track the um, coordinate and put the val there. But I actually like this better because it gives, I'm just going to have a, a handful, like four, maybe five, if I have new lines, which I didn't strip, so they might be there. Um, but basically now I can say, show me all the X coordinates and it'll just give me a list of the X coordinates. Um, and that'll come in handy, I think. So let's say uh, part one equals zero, because we're going to count. We're going to say four R comma C in map um, of X. Because we, the strategy I'm thinking here is, Basically, I only care, I want to look at all the X points and then work around them to see if they contain, if the next one out is M, the next one out is S, etc. I need to go in every direction. So we'll start with every X point and then we can say for DR, DC in, and then I have to do some annoying typing here where I do minus one, minus one, minus one. And I do minus one comma, comma zero. Man, typing is hard. Uh, and then I do minus one comma one. Then on the next row, I will do zero comma minus one, and I will do zero comma one. I don't need zero zero because I'll be checking myself. Uh, and then I will do one comma minus one, one comma zero, and one comma one. Okay, so for every possible direction I could go, uh, then I'm going to check. I'm going to let's see for every possible direction. I'm going to want to check where I am in. I need to check if that going that direction works for the letters. So I'll say for I comma char in enumerate Xmas. I probably could have done these in the other order as well, but either way, those two don't really matter. Now I can say if, uh, no, if R plus DR times I and C plus DC times I. So Here's a point. I'm going to, I'm now, now I'm going to take a step. So the first thing I'll do is, I guess technically I'm going to recheck zero. These are all going to, those are all going to be successful, but zero. So if, if that works, um, if R plus zero and C is, is equal to, oh, sorry, not in, well, not in or on, in map of char. I guess we want not in, not in map of char. Yeah, so basically, basically, if we hit, if we get to a point where we stepped out, I, we check each character. So first zero, then one, then two, and we're checking each of the offsets in each direction. 
And if for that direction, we get to a point where we're not, you know, we're checking for M, but M is not, it, you know, but this thing, this point is not in the map of all the, all the list of M's, then we failed. We want to break. And if we make it to the end of this loop, this is how we can use an else here. It's a good, really good use for an else. Then we found it. We've reached the end. We've gone all four of these. They've all been in the, the X was in the, the zero offset was in the X chars. The one offset was in the so chars, etc. cetera. Um, then we reached the end. We're good. So now we can add part one plus equals one. Um, we could probably make this a little bit more efficient. Well, I'm going to come back to that in a second. I don't think it's necessary, but we'll, we can make this a little bit more efficient by not checking X again, because by definition, we've always, we've started at X. Um, so I'll come back to that in a second. Um, I think that might be all we need. Let's see. Python day four sample.txt. Ooh, we got an error. Um, map is not subscriptable. Because uh, it's not map. Let's see. I'm trying to get in the habit of not renaming like Python keywords as the variables. Um, 18. I don't I have no idea what was the right answer here. Uh, 18. Sweet. Okay. So let's try it with our input here. Uh, 2504. Boom. Um, before we go to part two, I just want to take a look. I think this will work the same. I think we can do enumerate on mass and start at one. And that still works. Um, made no difference, but for efficiency sake, basically, we don't have to check zero. In fact, we're checking zero for every direction. So we can just start at one because we know we're, we know our point was an X to begin with. Um, cool. Uh, let's read part two. All right, so part two, we're no longer looking for the string Xmas. We're now looking for this arrangement where basically two mass MAS cross each other at the A. Um, and they can go any direction. So you can see the S can be up. Um, I believe actually, so there's four configurations for this. So the M's, the M's, there's two M's and two S's. The M's can't be across from each other. So it'd be M on left and left, M on top and top, M on right and right, or M on bottom and bottom. Um, and that's how, and then the S's have to be across from those. Um, so let's go look for the pattern. Um, we're going to start with, we'll do the same thing. So we'll say, uh, part two equals zero for our comma C in char map. This time we're going to base off A, because A just seems like the, the centering point there. Now, how do we want to check this? this we, we don't need to do like our loop as much as last time, but we just need to check for these four configurations. So what we really want to do is we want to say, um, if R, let's say, minus one, C minus one. So that's the, that is the up left. Um, in fact, I'm going to be typing this a lot. So we're going to make some little functions here. We're going to say F, up left. Um, actually, we say up left equals lambda r comma c turn. Please return. Do you do return to lambda? Now I'm thinking function. Uh, do we or just do this? Do we just do uh, r plus up left will be r minus one c minus one? Does that work? Um, print up left one comma one. Uh, Python day for example. No, that didn't. Uh, oh, like bad code. Pass. Object is not callable. Did I do this? Yeah, okay, that works. So now we have up left defined here. So we can do up right equals lambda rc. Uh, the row will still be minus one. The one, the column will be plus one. Uh, down left equals lambda rc. Now we're gonna r plus one, c minus one, and down right equals lambda r comma c r plus one c plus one. So now I have like I can just refer to these things without having to. It'll, I think it's just gonna be a lot clearer. So we can say if up left r comma c in our map of m there's there's two configurations for that um if the if the top left is an m then we either need the bottom left to be an m so we can say if uh down left r comma c in char map 
M. And if that's the case, whoa, hit a button. If that's the case, and we need um, up right R comma C in char map of S. And let's see, we already did up left, down left, up right, down right, R comma C in char map of S. So if all of those things are true, part two plus equals one. Um, we can also have, if we can just copy this, we've, now we can start just adjusting, so we get a lot faster, I think. So if, if up left is M, we could also have up right is M. Um, I probably should have renamed these things. Well, no, it's fine. Okay, up right can be M, and if up, up, if both ups are M, then both downs need to be S. We can do down left and down right. Perfect. And we'll do like that. And now we can do this whole thing again, because now we checked the up left. We'll also want to check the up right. So this will be an elif. Let's make this an elif. Let's make this an elif. So now we want to do if down right is an M. And now we want to check down left is an M. So that means both down. So we need up right and up left. Oops. And then if down right is an M and up right is an M, then both right, so we need both lefts to be down left and up left. Um, I think that's it. I mean, it's it's kind of ugly, but uh, we get nine. Let's see what the answer is here. Uh, nine. Cool. Let's uh, let's see what we get here. Sweet. Um, I think the thing I really like about my solution here is these using these lambdas because I think trying to do this out just like non vis This allows me to just sort of like visualize what I'm talking about, right? So I can say, I can sort of picture these four. There's, there's, there's four configurations, right? This one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, I could do this all as one giant if, but I think it's probably fine to break it up this way. Um, yeah, I'm sure there are better solutions. I'm going to have to go watch other people's videos and, and uh, write ups now to see if I can find. I wonder if there's a more efficient way to do this versus just checking all four ways, but um, it works. It wasn't too bad. So uh, thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll be back tomorrow.